My name is Rami Elchanan. I'm uh, 73 years old, graphic designer by profession. I'm a Jew, I'm an Israeli, and before anything else, I am a human being. Uh, my name is Bassam Arami. I am 55 years old. I'm a father of six kids, and I live in uh, Jericho in the West Bank. Uh, I lost my 14-year-old uh, daughter, Smadar in a suicide bombing in uh, Jerusalem by uh, two Hamas uh, people uh, 26 years ago. And ever since then, I devote my life to speak to people and to show them that there is another way. Uh, I lost my 10 years old daughter, Amir. She was my third child back in uh, the 16th of January, 2007, to an Israeli border police who shot and killed her from a distance of 20 meters in her head from the back. We get to understand that the occupation is responsible for the killing of our kids. The Parents Circle Families Forum is more than 730 families today. Uh, Israelis and Palestinians who lost their beloved one to the conflict. It's created in 1994 by an Israeli uh, Jewish religious guy who lost his son as a soldier and he decided to use this tragedy to support the peace process at that time. Yitzhak Frankenthal. Yitzhak Frankenthal, his name. And the first uh, Palestinian families, they came from uh, Gaza Strip, not from the West Bank. And in fact, after the uh, 2000, after we, we were in a total cutoff between the West Bank and Gaza, uh, many families from the West Bank joined the Peron Circle. We are doing uh, uh, many lectures in Israeli and Palestinian high schools, uh, talking to uh, kids. It's, uh, it's uh, an earthquake, this uh, meeting. No one can listen to us and remain the same. We have a very strong women group, which are doing a lot of solidarity events and uh, programs on the ground, and they have a lot of uh, influence. We have summer camps for our kids every year. Uh, which is an amazing sight to see them at the beginning. They don't know each other, they are afraid of uh, each other, they are timid. And in the end of this summer camp, you cannot tell them apart. It's amazing to see. This is the nature of the human beings. When someone scared you, occupied you, you need to resist. Uh, oppression creates resistance. It's a normal thing to do. Now it's up to us to understand what's the meaning of resistance, how you resist, the most effective way to achieve your goal. Uh, in fact, we discovered that dialogue and moving beyond dialogue to understand each other and to respect each other is the best way to fight. The Jews will not be able to throw the Palestinians to the desert. The Palestinians will not be able to throw the Jews to the sea. We are doomed to live on this land together as one state or two states or 10,000 states. Otherwise, we will have uh, to share the graveyards under this land, the graveyards of our children. It's our moral obligation, it's our moral authority as people who paid the price to tell our people that uh, we must be able to talk to each other, that it will not stop. I always say to anyone who wants to listen, I have no reason to like Hamas. Hamas are the killers of my daughter. I will speak to the devil itself to save one drop of blood. We need to understand that uh, Hamas people who did the massacre on October 7th were 10 to 12 years old kids in 2014 when Israel bombed Gaza. What will happen in the next 7th of October? What will be to the relative and kids of these 30,000 people who were killed in this massacre in Gaza. The right for self-defense doesn't give you the right to revenge. And we are, you are planning revenge, you have to, to dig two graves, one for your enemy, enemy and one for yourself. I'm the son of a Holocaust survivor. My late uh, father was an Auschwitz graduate. And today, so many years after that, while these two crazy nations of ours are massacring each other without any mercy, the free and civilized world is still standing aside. And it's the task 
of the free and civilized world not to stand aside while a crime is being committed because standing aside is also a crime. And I will uh, have a message of a Jew. And I am a Jew, a proud Jew with the utmost respect to my people, to my history, to my tradition, to my religion. And I will say that ruling and oppressing and humiliating and occupying millions and millions of people for so many years without any democratic right is not Jewish. Period. There are no two ways about it. And being against it is not anti-Semitism. And if you get into an argument, you can quote me. As Martin Luther King says, in the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Please don't keep silence. Always raise up your voice for justice, for human rights, for any, anyone. And it's the time to shout loudly from the river to the sea, everyone should be free.